Hi everyone, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another book haul. In my last book haul, I said I had another order from Book Outlet coming, and it came today. <laughs> this is a big haul. I forget exactly how many books there are, probably like seven or eight. Um, and again, these are books that mostly that I've read before that I kind of want to reread. Maybe books I read as a teenager that I want to see if I still like. So that's what this is. So let's just get into it. I haven't looked, so I kind of forgot what uh, what books these are. Oh, by the way, I got these from Book Outlet. If you don't know, I mean, uh, you probably do if you're watching book too, but it's where you can get this kind of books. Um, so let's get into it. Ooh, number one is Night of the Twisters by Ivory Ruckman. I love this book when I was a kid. I've actually reread it as an adult, maybe within two years. It's way smaller than I remembered it. It's only 153 pages. This is about, it's a fictional story about a true night that happens. It takes place in Nebraska, and it's about this uh, group of tornadoes that came. So the tornadoes and the storm system is real. Um, but it follows a boy, he's probably like 12, 11 or 12, and he, he's with his friend, and he has to take care of his baby brother, like, like baby, probably like a year old. Um, and then they go, and they're, they're alone, so they have to go find their parents and everything. It's really good. I grew up in Nebraska, and this takes place in Nebraska, so I really liked it. Um, I would recommend this for, for kids. It's not, it has tornadoes, so it's not, you know, super scary. It's just, you know, an elementary book. So, I'm super excited to read that. Then I also have... Let me see if I can find the other one. So, these two kind of go hand in hand. It's Sarah Plain and Tall, and the sequel is Skylark. These are by Patricia McLaughlin, and there's movies of these. Um, Sarah is played by Glenn Close, and the father in these is played by the guy with the funny voice, Christopher Walken. <laughs> Christopher Walken is in these two. Um, so, these are about... These are also way smaller than I remembered. This is only like 67 pages. I had no idea. I mean, as a kid, I thought these were so long. Um, so anyway, the first one is about this, this family who is somewhere in the Great Plains. I'm not sure exactly. And they don't have a mother, so the father kind of puts an ad out for a mom. And Sarah is one of them who answers, and so she goes, lives with the family, and it's just about them. And there's a sequel. There's another one after this called Caleb's Story, I think, um, that I might get. But I just really wanted to reread re these and then rewatch the movie. Um, it's very good. They were like Hallmark classic movies. Uh, the next one I got is Bridge to Terabithia. I, of course, also read this as a child. I haven't seen the movie. I really want to, but I think I want to reread it first. This book is so sad at the end. Like, it has one of the saddest endings, but it's also, I think, why I kind of love endings like that, too. Um, that are like this. This is by Katherine Patterson. Um, and of course, if you don't know what this book is about, it's about these two friends and they kind of like cross this river and go into this, um, this land called Terabithia. Um, and it's really about their friendship and kind of like a coming of age story. Um, it's so good. I haven't read this in a very long time, so I don't remember the actual details, but I'm very excited to read this one as well. Then the next four books are all in the series I have. And this was one of my favorite series when I was like 13 to 16. They are The Sister of the Traveling Pants by Anne Brashers. Amber. <laughs> um, I love the series when I was a kid. I love the movies. And I thought these were cool covers. There's this one. I don't know in what order. Well, this one is clearly the second one. The Second Summer of the Sisterhood. And then, I'm pretty sure this is the third one. Uh, Girls in Pants. I'm pretty sure. And then, I'm pretty sure the last one is Forever in Blue. Well, I thought these I thought these covers were kind of so cool. I've never really seen colors like, or covers like this. Um, I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, this is stupid. It clearly says The Fourth Summer of the Sisterhood. Like, it clearly says what book number 
But anyway, I'm really excited to reread those books. I just want to see if I still like it or if those are books that you kind of have to be in that demographic to like. Uh, but yeah, I've seen them. Obviously, I've seen the movies. There's also another book that's like an adult book that takes place, you know, like 10 or 15 years later when they're adults. I had read like the first 30 pages of it and something really big happens that I didn't really like at the time. And this was probably like three years ago I read it. So I think after I read these, I'll give the adults book another chance. If you don't know what The Sister of the Traveling Pants is, I'm sure you all do. Um, let me grab the first one. It is about these four friends who I think it starts out maybe their sophomore year of high school. And they are going to spend the summer apart for the first time. And they find these magical pants that fit all of them. And so they send them to each other in the mail. They're all in one, one's in Greece, one's in Mexico, one's in New York. I think. No, one's with her dad, and then one stays in their town. Um, but, yeah, I could really relate to the character of Carmen. I think um, she was my favorite, because I could relate to her as a, as, a, as a teenager. So, I'm, again, I feel like I'm repeating myself. I am super excited to reread these. Uh, the next book I got, these, I only bought books. I've read when I between the ages of like eight and sixteen, clearly, because the next book I bought is Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. I loved this book as a child. I I was maybe like eleven when I first read this, and it I could just identify with it so much. I wanted to be Star Girl. Sometimes I still think about being her. Like I still wish I could be her because it's about this girl who. Um, I think she moves, it's been a long time since I've read this, but I'm pretty sure she moves to a new town, and she's kind of quirky, she's very, like, Luna Lovegood kind of girl, where she doesn't care what other people think, um, she's quirky, and it's about a boy who befriends her, um, and I'm pretty sure they're love interests, if I'm correct, um, but again, uh, I haven't read this in a long time, the, it's interesting, because this says... That it's soon to be a motion picture. But I've never heard that they're going to have Star Girl as a, as a movie. So I wonder if this is like an old copy. Or if they really are going to make it a movie. Because that would be incredible. Who could play her? I don't know. I just picture Luna Lovegood. Whoever that actress is playing her. Um, and then I have one last book. And this is one that I totally bought because of BookTube. It was so hyped. Maybe last summer or some something, one of those subscription boxes had it in it, so like all the YouTubers got it. But it is My Lady Jane. Um, this book, I'm not exactly sure what it's about. It's about it follows one of the queens. Um, this Jane becomes a queen, and um, I'm not sure exactly to be honest. Let me read it real quick. So it, um, it says that there's like this guy, I think it's like her love interest, who every day at dawn, he becomes a horse. And then at, at dusk, he, he like stop he becomes human again. I, I don't like that, but I still want to read that. I've heard it's funny. Um, all the people on booktube liked it. It's actually way longer than I thought it was going to be. It is, I, uh, 487 pages. I'm so glad I bought this at Book Outlet. If I would have bought it at, like, Barnes & Noble for, you know, $18, I would have been, well, I wouldn't have bought it because it's way too long. Um, but I am excited to read it now that I have it. Um, I've heard, again, that it's funny. I like history. I don't really like English history. I just got sucked into the hype, guys, Okay. Cut me some slack. Okay, those are the 10 books I ordered from Book Outlet. Um, please subscribe to stay up to date on my videos and leave a comment telling me maybe what book I should read first or what do you think about any of these books I got or if you have recommendations for future books I should order.